I told Senator Kane last night, if either of our sons in the military handled classified information the same way Secretary Clinton did, they'd be court-martialed. I mean, that's the hard truth of all this. And the American people are tired of it. They are tired of it as the Clinton campaign uh, continues to face increased scrutiny over Hillary's mishandling of classified information. Just a minute, you're going to meet the mother of a Navy service member who says her son, Christian, is definitely being held to a very different standard than the Democratic nominee. Now, my web producer at Hannity.com put this video together. This is their story. So we're going to get a special prosecutor and we're going to look into it because you know what? People have been... Their lives have been destroyed for doing one-fifth of what you've done. And it's a disgrace. And honestly, you ought to be ashamed of Secretary yourself. Clinton. I often feel like there's the Hillary standard and then there's the standard for everybody else. What's and the Hillary standard? I know Bernie Sanders said that, um, quote, the American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. <laughs> but there are a lot of people who are not. Well. <laughs> uh, include, including FBI officials. All right, thanks to my radio team. Uh, Kathleen Saucier is here. Are you crying or not? You, you, I know you've seen it before, but this is, this, this is your son. This is his life. Yeah, this is. And, um I apologize for being tearful. I no, thought no, I was no, going to no. hold why, this why together. Why would you apologize? Your son, your, your grandbaby, uh, you know, he, they won't see their father for you. He took six pictures on a sub, right? Right. And, and so they, we do get to see him, which we're very blessed that we get to see him. In jail? Uh, in, in prison, yeah. Um, cool. So we, in 2009, there was no cell phone ban on submarines at that time. Technology was new and didn't catch up. Navy hadn't caught up yet. Mm -hmm. And um, many of the young men, 22 years old, many of them were taking photos. Um, a couple of them got caught under the Navy in, while they were in, on the submarine, and they were reduced to rank and fined $560. Unfortunately, my son, his cell phone was lost and then found outside of the Navy, and the FBI became involved. And so that was, you know, years ago, and we've come to this point now, flash forward to May of this year. Um, after a lot of threats of in, and intimidation uh, up towards our family, my son made the decision, and, and financially we just didn't did, have did anything Did your son else. take the pictures in the submarine to give to the Russians, or did he take it to say, oh, this is where I worked? I'm assuming the latter. Yes, yes, I believe he did. I, have no, I really have no doubt in my mind that it was a 22-year-old guy that wanted to take a picture. He's proud of where he worked. Yeah. He wore, and, he, and he took pictures, and cell phones were allowed. This is outright. Look at these pictures. I mean, that's his one, your one-year-old granddaughter, right? Yep. Yep. Now he has uh, an absolutely beautiful wife who has stood by him through this, which I'm so grateful for her and her strength, and um, a beautiful one-year-old daughter. Yes. I'll put up on the screen all of the offenses Cheryl Atkinson uh, at her website put up. She's a former reporter at CBS. All the things she's done. When you compare the Hillary standard, there it is. All she's done. All that we know. All the emails that that have now been uncovered. National security secrets. Top classified, uh, you know, all the top levels in this particular special access programs is the highest level of security on that unsecure email. What do you say to Hillary? Uh, it just disgusts me. I, I don't understand how the American public cannot see this, that there's a clear double standard. She should be held to the same standard as every other American patriot. When does your son get out of prison? Um, next year, October. So he's got a whole year to go. He's got a year to go. And the hard part about it for everyone, I think, is that, you know, everyone says, well, he'll get out early for good behavior. Maybe Unfortunately, not. he won't because uh, he was sentenced to a full year in federal prison. I'm so sorry.
Thank you for sharing the story. We're sorry this happened to your son. Thank you. God bless and please pray for us. We will.